I'm going to go over all the upsets in Division One women's basketball has, that has occurred today. First, the 10 seed Nord, I mean number 10 Nord Dame lost to unranked Louisville, and it wasn't even close, 64 to 38. I mean, first of all, Louisville was up 29 to 15 at half. Nord Dame in the second half only scored 23 points, while Louisville scored 35. So. Of course, there's more numbers than that. First of all, Nordame didn't shoot the ball good. I mean, 31.4% from the field, 16 for 51 overall, 1 for 10 on threes, 5 for 10 on free throws, 30 rebounds, 11 of those offensive, 9 assists, 6 steals, 22 turns, 17 fouls, 10 points off the bench. Louisville had 11 points off the bench. They shot 40% from the field, 24 for 60 overall, 1 for 13 on threes, 7.7%, 15 for 20 on free throws. 42 rebounds, 16 of those offensive, 13 assists, 10 steals, 4 blocks, 12 turners, 18 fouls. So, Louisville, that was the game for the ACC Tournament Championship Final, which is tomorrow at noon, East, uh, Central Time on ESPN, against number 8, Virginia Tech. So... And of course, Notre Dame has to wait and see who their next opponent is. And that could affect their seeding in the NCAA tournament. It could. Number two, Indiana. Women's basketball lost. To number 14, Ohio State. 79 to 75. Indiana was up 46 to 26 in this game. And they lost? It's the second half that killed them. I mean, they only had 17 points in the third, 12 points in the fourth. While Ohio State had 27 points in the third, 26 points in the fourth. Obviously, Indiana didn't shoot the ball bad. I mean, 40.7% from the field, 24 for 59 overall. Sent for 18 on threes, 38.9%. 20 for 23 on free throws, 87%. 45 rebounds, 11 of those offensive, 14 assists. Three steals, seven block, blocks, 18 turns, 22 fouls, 21 points off the bench. Ohio State had 20 points off the bench. They shot 35.6% from the field, 26 for 50, 73 overall, 4 for 23 on threes, 17.4%, 23 for 25 on free throws, though. 40 rebounds, 13 of those on offensive, 12 assists, 14 steals. Makes a lot of difference. Six blocks, eight turnovers, 20 fouls. Obviously, Indiana could have hurt themselves on being a one seed, but I, now, but I don't think they're going to fall down to a two, but you never know. But guess what? They're going to have to play Iowa for the championship tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. And speaking of which, Iowa knocked off number five, Maryland, 89 to 84. So, Maryland. Had 42 points in the first half, while Iowa had 47. Maryland in the second half, they had 42 points in the second half, and same goes, same goes for Iowa. Defense was a problem, clearly, to allow that many points for both these teams. Maryland didn't shoot the ball bad. I mean, 47.5% from the field, 28 for 59 overall, 8 for 23 on threes, 34.8%. 20 for 24 on free throws, 83.3%. 34 rebounds, Senators offensive, 21 assists, 6 steals, 3 blocks, 12 turnovers, 19 fouls, 18 points off the bench. Iowa didn't score a single point off the bench, and they still won this game. Everybody was in double dip figures. And the starters, that's a big difference. Big difference. 45.6% from the field, 31 for 60. Eight overall, so they made more shots on more attempts. 17 for 40 on threes, 37.5%. 12 for 15 on free throws, 37 rebounds, 11 those offensive, 4, 24 assists, 6 deals, 4 blocks, 12 turners, 21 fouls. And Maryland has to just wait and see where they're going to be, and that could affect their 1C potential now. And I was going to play number 14 Ohio State for the championship tomorrow, which I already for the Big Ten Tournament Championship, that is. That's going over. And there's one more upset that is notable. Number four, LSU women's basketball lost their second game of the season to unranked Tennessee, 
69 to 67. LSU was even up 17. She, what's up with these teams that are better than them and they allow a comeback? I mean, first of all, LSU in the first half had 40 points. Tennessee had 16, I mean 26 in the first half. Second half, LSU only scored 27. Tennessee scored 43. That is a big difference. And granted, it was a little bit of foul game. And you could question all you want on the Angel Reese thing, but she extended her arm. You can't do that. LSU didn't shoot the ball bad. I mean, 43.1% from the field, 28 for 65 overall, 4 for 13 on threes, 30.8%, 7 for 9 on free throws, 77.8%, 35 rebounds, 14 of those offenses, 16 assists, 11 steals, 5 blocks, 17 turns, 19 fouls, and they had 10 points off the bench. Tennessee had 12 points off the bench. Bench points difference is a big difference sometimes. And Tennessee shot 38.3% from the field, 23 for 68, 60 overall. They didn't shoot the ball good, but they still won. 2 for 11 on threes, 18.2%. But they made their free throws up. 21 for 25. They could have extended that game. And they actually had one more foul to give if they had to, but they didn't decide not to. And Alexis Morris would try to shoot a three. She missed it. So 37 rebounds, 15 of those offensive, 13 assists, 6 steals, 4 blocks, 17 turners, 16 fouls. I tell you this about LSU. Look at their strength of schedule. That explains it to me. They are not for real. They're capable of losing in a round of 32 if they're not careful. Seriously, they're not battle tested. No, only one ranked team that's currently ranked right now. The other ranked team, they're on the bubble and they're on the outside looking in. And they have, LSU has struggled with unranked teams in the past. I mean, struggled with them. So, needless to say, I don't think LSU is going to make, they're, they're not going to go to the Final Four. They'll be lucky to make an Elite Eight. In my opinion, sorry, but I'm calling the way it is. And that's coming from somebody that knows a coach and a few staff members. So, yeah, I call it. And I, somebody that's also somebody I know their chi her children, too. You got to play a better streak to schedule. This is just proves what I believed all along. They are fool's gold. Well, Tennessee has to play number one South Carolina next for the SEC title game, which is at 2 p.m. Central Time tomorrow on ESPN. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. See you guys later. Subscribe, subscribe. We're on the road to it. Let's go.